Hi, welcome to Microsoft SQL Tutorials. My name is Amir. In the previous video, we learned how to install Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio that is nothing but SQL Server 2012. In this session, we'll understand how to connect SSMS. If you have not gone through the previous video, please listen once. We have to understand the steps 10, 13, and 16, which we are going to be set up in the roles in the step 10 and giving the instance name Microsoft SQL Server 2012 I have given as over there in the step 13 and the authentication mode I have given as Windows authentication. These three steps if you see on my screen that I have given server type as database we are having multiple options over and the server name if you see the server name the system name slash the instance ID which we have given in the that authentication the mode that we have specified in the you know in the step 16 that is the authentication mode which we have specified by using these three options we are going to connect our S okay I would like to give some more information about the Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio it is used to perform command based operations as well as GUI based operations for the database it is consisting of two subcomponents. One is Object, Object Explorer, which is GUI based plus administration relation tasks that we're going to do over there in the Object Explorer. Whereas another one is Query Editor, which is command based operations we're going to do. The installation has been completed successfully. We'll find the folder in Windows. We'll go, we'll hit it. Windows button on the keyboard and then goes to all programs and then search go for the Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio that is MS Microsoft SQL Server 2012 and then you will find SQL Server Management Studio click on that one this is one of the way that we are going to open it but there are there are different different ways to open Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio if it is SQL Server 2005, then we are going to go for the run command and then we are going to type it SQLW. This is one of the way to open 2005. But we have opened, we have, sorry, we have installed 2012 in our system. So how can we open through our run command? We are going to type SSMS and then we are going to hit it enter. This is another way to open Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. If you see, I have opened through Windows All Programs and then I can go ahead and use the run command to open the SQL Server Management Studio. Now, I will show you different different server types that what we are having. If you see the server types, one is database engine, analysis services, reporting services, and integration services. If you remember the step 10 over there, we have installed SQL Server instance only. That's the reason we'll find all these things. Okay, now I'm going to select database engine. And coming to the server name, the server name I have given, this is my local system name. How can we find the local system name? Go to computers and right click on the properties. And then you can see the computer name over here as what is the name that have we have specified over there. Okay, this is the name that one and the slash the instance name that what we have given it. In the step 13, we have given the instance name while going to installing Microsoft that is MS SQL Server 2012. It's it's your user friendly name, whatever the name you want to give it, you can go ahead and you can give it. Next, and the authentication. If you see the authentication, there are two types of authentication. One is Windows authentication and the SQL Server authentication. So SQL Server in authentication, nothing but if you have any, if you have provided in the step 16 while going to be installing, you have given any username and password, then you are going to use it, SQL Server authentication to connect this SMS. But as of now that I have given Windows authentication, which is not required username and password. I'm just selecting connect. If you found this kind of, you know, cannot connect to particular PC, additional information, if you see, a network related instance, what does this mean? So if I have, 
if you gone through the previous video how to install uh, Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio 2012 there I have given the NT services at the I know the services which you have going to run on the particular account so once the installation has been completed go to run command services dot MSC there you will find all the services related to the Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio if you see I'm going to check it out for the SQL Server server if you see the server name with the same instance name that what we have given SQL Server Microsoft SQL Server 2012 which it is showing if you see over here this is not this is what is the description it is showing provides a storage processing information but it is the status is not running that's the reason we are going to get this kind of errors okay let me check let me run this one by using the NT server service account I'm going to make it as right click and start once the Windows is attempting to start the following service on the local computer so you can automatically go ahead and then again click on the connect now I'm sure that 100% this is it is going to be connecting to your SQL server management see it has been connected you can see the on the left hand side you will find the object explorer with the what are the PC name that is local PC local PC slash Microsoft SQL Server 2012 so it will give the what are the server that have been installed and you can see all the things like uh, you know databases and after the securities what are the security that you need to provide server objects what are the backups each and everything duplication always on 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 available high availability and management and integration services catalogs so this is all about the object explorer if you see one by one of the menu what we're having that we're having file to connect the object explorer to disconnect the object explorer so we are now edit this is not we are going to using much more of view this is the object explorer if you see if you are not going to be seeing while you are going to be connected if you don't see the object explorer go to view and click on the object explorer okay you will find again the toolbox over there so and these are all the main features that what we're having and then going to tools there is a SQL profiler it is going to be checked out what is the we can go ahead and we can check out the profiler in future so how the profiler is going to be working okay these are all about the menu that what we're having next we'll check out what are the different types of database by default it has been installed if you see on my screen in the object explorer there's the database default that we're having one is system database okay uh, uh, that is already having if you see there's the sample databases also user defined database also that what we're having in system database if you expand that one will have master model msdn and tempdb which is the default one but as of now i didn't install sample one so these are all the dbs that what we are having so if you're going if you have created any user databases user defined databases created by the developers you'll find all the databases below this one i will show you in the next scene how to create the database also so these are all the things once you are going to connect the microsoft sql server management studio you'll find all these things thanks for watching this video have a great day.